Her and Andrew Poget will skate in the final spot. Three time Canadian silver medalist. Chance to do what Virtue and Moyer did six times and win the national title. Paul and Islam. Second last, Gillis and Poirier. Third team to skate in the group. Orford and Williams after this team on the ice, the leadoff group in this final flight. Of the ten that have skated, here are our leaders. Elizabeth Parody and Francois Xavier Ouellette of Quebec. 61.50 is the score to beat. Madeleine Edwards and Zhao Kai Pang. Trained with Megan Wing and Aaron Lowe, perennial medalists on the podium at the Nationals in the BC area. 2013 Canadian Junior Dance Champions. And they're the 2014 World Junior Bronze Medalists. They have been competing this season also on the Junior Grand Prix circuit and made it to the final. And their goal is to get back to the podium at Junior Worlds, hopefully this time at the top. The compulsory dance portion of the short program this season is a paso doble. The music must be a Spanish dance rhythm. So they can choose from among the paso doble, flamenco, bolero, any Spanish music as long as it's not the Spanish tango. They are opening with a flamenco and then we'll move into the Paso Doble style. Here are acquired element, sequential twizzles. So there is an interpretive portion of the dance and then a required element of the dance. The required dance is the Paso Doble. It is a set pattern. Here's their starting now. You will see all of the dance couples having to include this required portion in their short dance. Same steps, same tempo of music. they vary with a partial step sequence with two key elements. So not to confuse you, but just to let you know, there are very strict requirements, a lot of them taken from the ballroom in this short dance. These two are handling this dance well, Rod, and they are at a distinct advantage from the senior competitors because on the junior ranks, their tempo was a mambo. So they had to come up with a whole new dance for this Canadian Championships. Two young skaters who have won juvenile, pre-novice, novice, junior. Their goal someday to win a national crown. They're students as well. They go to Simon Fraser University on the West Coast. So they combine studies and athletics. And this week they're at the Nationals. Not too long ago, Megan Wing and Aaron Lowe used to compete at the Nationals. Now coach, they open a dance school out in BC, and these two were their first students at that dance school. And they've had a terrific success as juniors. Both very, very talented, nice personalities on the ice. Well, here's a look now at the required step sequence. And this step sequence is like the quad to the single skater. Highest value for technical difficulty would be eight and a half, and they can take that all the way up to almost 12 points. 
On the ice, Nicole Orford and Thomas Williams. So back to back BC teams, back to back wing and low teams. That's why Megan is not with her team in the Kiss and Cry area because she's getting ready to watch the next team on ice. And we're going to get a, a chance to look back at their Paso Doble. And, um, that's a very, very strict portion of the dance where the technical panel is zeroing in on the blade and how the blade hits the ice, picking up the precision. I think it's way too punitive, and I think they will make some changes in that. Uh, really takes away from the artistry of the dance. Again, a team that is really breaking into the senior ranks, longtime junior skaters, and currently in fourth place. And again, they just don't have the mileage no. on that program that some of their senior competitors do.